Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot. So today we're taking a look at healing the past trauma. Now going by that title you can already tell as to whether or not this is going to be your reading. Okay, Don't try and force anything to fit with your situation and do keep in mind that these reads they're not supposed to criticize or antagonize in any way okay these reads they're all about doing that inner work okay right so with that being said what is going on for you guys who are dealing with past trauma okay so how this trauma has impacted you in your life you've got the moon what emotions do you carry because of this trauma that's the emperor how does this trauma affect your relationship with others? That's the Queen of Swords. How does this trauma affect the way that you see yourself? The Eight of Cups. Uh, what you need to do in order to release this trauma? The Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. Um, what lesson can be learned from your past experience? That is the Knight of Wands. So I'll just tidy this table up here a minute. Oh, I'm not going to get all of the cards on. Um, how you can begin to move past your experiences. That's the nine of pentacles or the nine of coins. How will your life change when you release your trauma? The two of wands. And who will you become when you've processed and released your trauma? Justice. Okay. Energy at the bottom of the deck. That is the king of pentacles or the king of coins. Okay. That's very uh, stable energy, the King of Coins in the upright position. Um, it's someone who is very practical as well. Now, don't focus on the gender, okay? It's not about the gender of the card. It's all about the principle of doing. And at the moment, yeah, neither Coins underneath that one. Again, Coins energy, very earthy, very uh, responsible very careful as well so this is showing that you're a very careful individual you like to think long term um, and you definitely do like to take more of a practical approach towards situations uh, which is a really good starting point really good starting point um, now how has this trauma impacted on your life, the moon? Um, that is Spirit's way of saying that it's actually impacted you in ways that you probably didn't even realize that it had, with it being the moon, okay? The moon is really good at hiding things, concealing things, especially to do with fears, concerns, and emotions. So may maybe that's how you handle stuff now, now that you've been through everything that you've been through um you're very reserved i want to say really quite stoic as well with all of this earth energy being your overall energy um not revealing to others when you know when things are hard when things are getting you down definitely this trauma has impacted you on a very deep subconscious level here that might not be immediately obvious in your day-to-day -day life okay uh, the emotions that you carry because of this trauma, that's the emperor. So emotionally, yeah, again, a very stoic energy. Um, someone who just has to get on with things, you know. The emperor, they look over their empire. It's someone who is self-made as well. So definitely it's made you someone determined to succeed, uh very controlled over yourself as well uh how does this trauma affect your relationship with others the queen of swords um yeah you tend not to give people these days too many chances with this queen of swords it's like basically seeing the warning signs with others for exactly what they are without you making excuses for their red flags. So you've definitely changed up how you deal with other people purely because of the the, the traumatic experiences. Uh, Queen of Swords is someone who can cut people off like that, basically, without giving it much of a second thought. 
Um, and it's it's telling me, because the Eight of Cups is right next to that, that you're becoming very efficient, should we say, at cutting people off. Um, perhaps maybe a little bit too soon in some certain circumstances, but again, only you can pass judgment on that, okay? Has there more recently been someone that you've had to cut off? Um, maybe preemptively, okay? Because again, on a really deep subconscious level, this trauma has given you, uh, I, I would say, a short fuse for putting up with bullshit. And, and nor should you have to put up with bullshit. Like, you absolutely shouldn't have to. Um, but what, it, what this is drawing your attention to is perhaps um, with you cutting people off or about to cut people off, but it's saying, are you perhaps acting a little bit uh, too quickly or are you acting preemptively or are you acting um, a bit severe, should we say, okay? It's just with these two being right next to it. And then, of course, you've got the Seven of Swords, which is saying, look, that there is a better way of doing things without having to uh, burn quite so many bridges, basically. Uh, the, the main message that's coming through for you guys is, yes, Spirit understands completely why you need to cut off certain people. However, there also does need to be a balance with it as well. Um, y if you go around burning all of the bridges, th there's not going to be anything left. That's why that Seven of Swords is there. Okay, it's like things things that you could perhaps do differently. Um, maybe not being so quick to to be cutting people off, okay? Uh, again, it's not supposed to sound um, mean or patronizing or confusing at all, okay? It's just literally saying, okay, that there are other ways of dealing with people who are uh, perhaps testing you without the need for such extreme actions, okay? I mean, it's one thing when you've given certain people warnings that this was, you know, that this was what they were pushing you to. And then eventually you get to that point and you do end up cutting them off, right? And that's different from someone making one mistake and there you go. You know, that that a hammer of your judgment has come down and you're like, nope, not dealing, done. Burn, burn that bridge immediately. You know, it's saying don't, don't be too quick because, again, keep in mind seven of swords we have all done things and we are all likely to do things in the future that perhaps um is going to be similar or similar mistakes to what's going on in this energy with this person that you're dealing with okay so the lessons that you can learn from past experiences, that's this Knight of Wands. It's a very adventurous energy. Um, it's someone who doesn't take themselves too, too seriously. Uh, seriously enough in order to be an achiever, but not too seriously to the point where they're not moving at all, like that Knight of Pentacles, that Knight of Coins, okay? So it's finding the funny side where the a funny side can be found, but again, trying not to tar everyone with the same brush, basically, as those who traumatized you, okay? Uh, how you can begin to move past these experiences, that's the Nine of Coins. It's giving yourself validation. It's for you to validate your own experiences, for you to validate um, how far you've actually come as well. Now, there's a lot of self-made energies that's going on in this read. You've got it there with the King of Pentacles, there with the Emperor, and there again with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? A lot of self-made energies. So, yeah. It, it is time for you to give yourself that validation 
um, that, that I feel has been sorely missing from others that you associate with or others that you used to associate with, especially with, with this whole, um, you know, cutting lots of people off at the same time. Again, do keep in mind that um, cutting people off, going no contact, that is for extreme serious circumstances, okay, uh, where nothing else has worked, basically. And yes, I am speaking from experience. Um, certainly when you recognize patterns of behavior, absolutely. But say like this is someone's quote unquote first offense, um, that that's where your trauma is making the decisions yeah because again if if someone's done like one offense and they're out that that is coming from your trauma um that's basically you trying to avoid um the repeating patterns it it feels like someone hasn't been given a fair chance here uh, you perhaps are running the risk of not giving you this relationship or this connection a fair chance or this person a fair chance you know so it's all about what it, it like it's literally warning against acting too too quickly through your own trauma okay um yes absolutely validate your own experiences but then also uh, before you make any decisions two of ones make sure that you're not acting from a place of, of pain and trauma okay you've got to take each individual on their own merits and on their own credits okay so, th so this individual they, they've done something that's a little bit dodgy is that their personality is that their character or were they just having a bad day you know we all have bad days every single one of us do you know what i mean um none of us here are uh, as pure as the driven snow as they like to say okay um me least of all so y you know I i'm not saying any of this while pretending that I'm sitting inside an ivory tower like that's not me okay so n no one's judging here this is simply spirit saying okay when it comes down to having relationships with other people any types of relationships there are always going to be difficulties there is always going to be uncertainties there are always going to be problems when you're dealing with other people right that's just the nature of being around others it's just the nature of society okay um but what would be unhealthy is to basically cut absolutely every single person off uh for you know their first offense as it were okay because we we've all as i say we've all done things we've all had daft stupid moments where we've you know said or done something that we shouldn't have right and then made sure not to do it again. Um, so yeah, by all means, for someone's first offense, warning, absolutely, yes, because Queen of Swords is boundaries as well. Boundaries are incredibly important. Absolutely, first offense, warning, right? Whatever they then do with that after, that's on them, okay? Um, but you have to, you have to allow that moment of you giving the warning first, okay instead of nah man, i'm just cutting them off for life that that's their warning <laughs> that's that's their only warning um you know could you imagine if the tables were turned right you were having a bad day you fucked up and then someone else's immediate response was to cut you off for the rest of days it wouldn't feel very good with it especially when that's not normally your character yeah so same thing basically whenever you do cut people off make sure that it's not coming from this trauma okay make sh make sure that it's coming from a place of yeah i've i have exhausted all the avenues i can think of do you know what i mean so it's not cutting people off on the first offense okay uh, how your life is going to change when you finally process and work through and then release your trauma. Um, your decision making is going to be a lot clearer with this two of wands. Okay. See how he's got the globe there. 
that's literally someone who's got the world in their hands they have a world of opportunities in their hands and with that eagle it's being able to tell the difference between making excuses for people and seeing the situation for what it actually is okay they're two entirely different things uh, it's a very wise energy is the eagle okay um seeing above and beyond petty day-to-day -day drama and, and recognizing okay yeah this person that you know they're, they're just having a bit of a, a rough day um and again uh, holding people accountable okay it, it is important you know when someone's been a shit to you you've got to make sure that you hold them accountable. Look, you said this, that, and the next. You did this, that, and the next. That that was uncalled for, you know. Letting people know that you're not there to be used as an emotional punch bag. Nobody is there to be trauma dumped on. Nobody, okay? People have got to handle their own shit in a healthy way and and what seems to be going on here is quite possibly yes someone has or is about to um see you as some kind of outlet for their own mental problems their own emotional problems and you taking this stand and making it abundantly clear i'm not here for that i'm not your emotional punch bag not and and if you do that again i am gonna have to cut you off okay so it's making your point being firm and being in control being in control of your own response being in control of your own emotion okay uh, and then finally justice who will you become when you finally process and release all of your trauma so yeah fair you will become someone who is fair someone who is unfuckwithable uh someone who has got a clear understanding of you know what is right and what is wrong clear understanding of the gray areas in life as well especially with that seven of swords and the moon and recognizing that you know everyone's situations are different she's blindfolded okay the the characters on the justice cards they are always blindfold and that means without ego without bias okay justice fairness balance equality without bias and ego um it's important for you to recognize as well that you are a good person okay see how they've got the feather on one side of the scale and then the heart on the other and they always say that when we pass from this realm our hearts are weighed um to see what kind of life we lived yeah um you are a good person okay the mistakes of the past does not dictate who you are that dictates who you used to be it doesn't dictate who you are now and the same is true for other people that you're dealing with and this is what spirit is wanting for you to remember when dealing with difficult situations difficult people right yes look out for the patterns that's smart that's sensible but you've also got to take someone on their their own merits and credits as we've already spoken on okay um again especially if this is with someone new as well um like literally th there are going to be moments when you yourself make a mistake and hopefully that other person is going to be as understanding not a pushover but understanding of the complex of the complexities of relationships okay is is what you are so that's justice okay so with that being said i'm gonna pull you a healing message also as well i do need to drive the point home there is absolutely nothing wrong with cutting people off when 
they have been given a warning okay nothing wrong with that at all we have a healing message for our collective never alone okay right so this one says divine guidance you will be seeing the signs of their presence serendipitous events and strokes of luck okay so you've got um divine guidance divine protection around you at this point in time okay you are being heavily guided so it's vital that you do pay attention and listen to the guidance that that is coming through for you and again with feathers um it doesn't have to be white feathers okay there could be any type of feathers that you randomly find again it's all evidence of someone within the spiritual realm saying to you i'm here for you you can lean on me we're, we're guiding you you are being protected okay you're never alone all right let's take a look okay the angels are here to support you through this challenging moment look out for signs of their presence you might notice a lot of little quote-unquote coincidences and strokes of luck in your life at this time this is confirmation that you're always surrounded by the loving guidance of these divine messengers yeah i don't believe in coincidences i never have and i never will okay um everything's orchestrated either by your hand by someone else's hand or by the universe i i genuinely do not believe in coincidences at all so what's going on with this energy is something is about to kick off that does trigger your past trauma and it is not by coincidence it feels a little bit like your spirit guides are wanting to see how you're going to respond to a certain person and their behavior towards you are you going to give them a fair chance or are you just going to immediately cut them off first offense done okay um <clears throat> and again i'm not pointing fingers i've done that as well i've cut people off on the first offense and i've cut people off on the 21st offense okay it just depends what mood they catch me in <laughs> right i know that's not healthy but as i say none of us are as pure as the driven snow none of us right you are going to be put to the test as it were this week i feel okay um the affirmation that comes with this card says i draw on my vast reservoir of inner strength to keep moving forward i have faith that all things will fall into divine order for my greatest benefit and i ask the universe for its guidance and always receive its help and protection the sun will rise and shine for me yeah so with the message there about how the sun will rise and shine for you um obviously it means it's the dawn of a new day um it indicates growth optimism abundance and positivity okay so if you felt like you've been struggling in your life because you've had to cut off so many people um spirit saying yeah but to be fair how many warnings did you give them yeah so what we've got going on is now you're feeling maybe a bit lonely uh, a bit isolated because you had to cut off so many people and spirit saying well you're not actually alone okay um, maybe in the physical yes because it is difficult to find people to trust to to share your life with to share secrets to uh, to be supportive it is difficult to find good people yes but the good people do still exist out there um i feel that there's likely going to be an unexpected encounter over the next couple of weeks where you actually do meet someone that you can call your best friend 
okay and that's no coincidence either it feels like someone is being guided towards you by your spirit guides the universe which have a name you prefer to use to be your physical person to be your physical ally to be your best friend in the physical okay so there is support that's coming through for you here it's a really beautiful message to end your reading on Right, what else for our collective, please? What else? Whoa, okay. Right, so what did you get? The blessing of omnipresence. Wow. Breathe in light and breathe out any unwanted thoughts. Uh, dwelling on what has been or what might have been serves no purpose. Feel the healing omnipresent light that surrounds and fills you. Focus on the perfect present for it is blessed with infinite potential. Yeah. The blessing of omnipresence. Um, that is saying, try not to dwell on past events, try, uh, try not to, um, fall into that trap of, oh, well, maybe if this, that, and the next had happened, maybe if I had had such and such opportunities, my life would have played out in this, that, and the next way, you know, try not to fall into that trap. Okay. Um, because you're on this timeline and who's to say actually that things might have actually I mean it could have worked out worse for you had certain things happened you know or had certain things not have happened it could have w worked out so much worse for you so focus on the present moment okay you've got to be right here right now in the present moment right so because that read felt a bit depressing <laughs> Um, I am going to be using the Spiritual AF deck. If anyone is new here, then I do have to let you know that there is swearing and sarcasm in this deck. If you're not into that sort of thing, then you just don't have to listen, okay? Right. In order to love who you are, you cannot hate the experiences that shaped you. Yeah, same message as that one. Uh, we literally just finished saying that, didn't we? There is no guarantee that, say, for example, if you had had a supporting family or if you hadn't have met such and such a person, there is no guarantee that things would have uh, played out better, okay? Try not to hate the experiences that shaped you into the person that you are now. And here's the thing. You're, you're awake. You're aware you're um you, you're a deep thinker you're very perceptive why in a lot of ways because of the experiences that shaped you okay anything truly cool about you was created from the life that you've lived remember that when you start to wind down the same spiral no time is wasted, no love is wasted, no tears are wasted, and no breath is wasted. You being you is important, and every single thing that made you is of value. So tell shame to suck it. Yeah. Um, feelings of shame can actually block off your third chakra. If, any, if anyone is interested in chakra work, that's your solar plexus chakra. Okay. It's all about your right to take action. It deals with issues of power and vitality, your willpower, your energy levels. It can be blocked by shame. Okay, so someone someone here is feeling this deep rooted shame about their own experiences in life, embarrassment even about their own experience in, experiences in life. But here's the thing as well. If you're one of these that lies in, in your bed at night and you cringe, like you physically cringe at some of the things that you did, say, when you were a teenager, when you were in high school, maybe even something that you did a few you know like two or three years ago 
uh, something that you said or did. And if you if you're cringing at that, that is evidence of how different you are now, of how much you have grown and changed. OK. Uh, always be concerned if anyone's like that to you. Oh, yeah. You know, m my life has been perfect. It's been wonderful. It's been amazing. No, I don't have any embarrassing memories, yada, yada, yada. I would worry at that, okay? I, I would legit worry at that because that means that that person is just so oblivious, so naive to the way that they affect other people or have affected other people, you know? Uh, so the fact that you can actually cringe at some of the shit that you used to say or do or whatever is evidence of growth, okay? And you should absolutely be proud of that. So that is your message for the day. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like the video and you're wanting to see more. Uh, for information on how you can book a personal reading with me, you can find all of that in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.